This is a demo of AMPPS2 biogas data processing in order to calculate BMP using OBA, the online biogas app. Many thanks to Conrad Cook for sharing these data. So AMPPS2 data are organized in a wide format where you have a single time column here in hours and then a separate column for each bottle. It's necessary to pull out the setup data and put them in a separate file. So here I've made a file called setup and we need at least these four columns. Notice also that they're transposed compared to the original AMPTS2 data. So these four columns have name. The values in this column need to exactly match the column names in the biogas file. So because of this I've made a new header row without volume and then units for this file. But I've kept the original header row so that we have a record of the units. Alright, what else do we need in this setup file? So again, name is used to, to match these rows with the columns in the in the biogas file. First thing we need is info on how the bottle should be grouped. So here, all these sewage sludge bottles are grouped together and called sewage sludge and something similar for maize, dog food, and cellulose. We have a total of four substrates here. And the blanks as well. Then we need to know how much inoculum went into each bottle. And lastly, the amount of substrate. Typically that'll be grams of VS if you want to calculate BMP normalized to VS mass. And you can see there's no substrate in the, the blanks, the inoculum only bottles. Okay, so let's go to OVA. So these are volumetric data. They're cumulative. The biogas temperature wasn't measured separately for each observation. Actually, data are standardized to zero degrees Celsius dry conditions. So I've selected dry here, and then one atmosphere, or 101.325 kilopascals. Methane con concentration wasn't measured either. It's 100% because CO2 is removed, and it's not normalized. It's relative to the sum of CO2 and methane. There's, it's actually, at least at some po time points, it's less than 100%. It's going to be some, uh, well, depending on what the flushing gas is, there could be nitrogen. If we want to use normalized concentrations, we need to report a headspace volume. Okay, data structure is Y. Let's take a look at these data. Again, this is the biogas file. You can see the two header rows. We need to skip the first one. So we need to change this to one. Let's take another look. Okay, that looks correct. Our time column is called hour, time unit is hours, volume column. Here it's the first volume column, and then all the rest will also be assumed to be volume columns. And units, milliliters. All right, there we see our results. Really just cumulative methane production. Really all, we do is, all we've done so far is write in the results because this is what we started with. Although, if you view data, see a bit more information including the rates of methane production and here these would be milliliters per day. These can be downloaded as well with this link. Here's a closer look at the plot. You can see the lines seem to group together in twos or threes. I think they're all actually grouping in threes and these are the replicates. Well, then, to calculate BMP, we need to summarize biogas production. We want to normalize by substrate mass and subtract inoculum production. And we'll start out with the default option of calculating means and standard deviation. So then what time should we use? We could enter a time manually, say 400 hours. We don't need extrapolation, but we have to upload our 
setup file. Let's take a look here. There's no extra header row. So we don't need to skip anything. Bottle ID. Remember this is the column that's going to match up. It's going to contain values that match the column names in our biogas file. Description. This substrate. This is used for grouping. Substrate VS mass. Inoculum quantity. And inoculum only bottles are called blanks here. Okay, so we get BMP results for 400 hours. And we can see cellulose is close to 400. And it, it should be close to the theoretical value of uh, 414 milliliters per gram VS. Perhaps 413, I can't remember. Dog food has the highest value here. So we've selected 400 hours. We can also take a look at a bar plot that shows us the means and the standard deviations. We could select a different time, or we could just say use the latest times. So this will switch to 500 hours, and we see the BMP values increase, of course, because now there's a bit more biogas produced. Okay, we may also be interested in this approach where the time to evaluate BMP is evaluated separately for each bottle based on the time that we see biogas production rate or methane production rate drop below 1% of the cumulative. And here, because we're subtracting the inoculum contribution right here, this, this rate is evaluated on corrected methane. So we could use that. Now OBA will pick the times, and so they're in days, a uh, maximum of 17 days. Now we could also use all times. This plot may take a bit to print. Because we're using all times and calculating means and standard deviations, what we see now once this updates, what we see now is a line and points for the mean values. They're so close together here, we can't really see them. And then we have error bars, which just look like filled space here, again, because we have an observation for every hour. They're so close together. But here we can see the replicates uh, must group pretty well. Standard deviation is not very high. It's highest for dog food. And we can see also the trajectory of each of these substrates. So these data could we could look at them as well. So again for each hour, each substrate we have a mean and a standard deviation. And of course they can be downloaded as a CSV file. I'll show one more option. We can turn off this option and now we have normalized methane production for each bottle. So earlier we were looking at means and standard deviations, and here we have values for each individual bottle. So those are the different options that can be used in OBA to summarize biogas production and express BMP uh, using a few different methods.